Namaste. How's it going? The three fundamental nadis of the Ida, left side, Pingala, right side, the Shishumna, the central channel, are all printed on their external bodies. Yes, there are specific points in our bodies which are directly related with the three important energetic anatomies. So for today, let me share with you the relationship with the hands, our feet, and our tongue, the mouth. All right. So there are many concepts, the principles, benefits, but let me just share with you a few of them, the things you can practice at home, your hands. Yeah. If you feel like, for example, oh, sluggish, you are bloated, you are physically drained, tired, exhausted, and mostly physical, it could be an issue of your yeah, right channel, the pingala. So by stretching your hand yeah, like this, yeah, open and closing, and then pressing yeah, the very center of the palm because the center of our palms are directly related to that particular nadi. Right? So you press, you massage. Yeah. Good. You might do your stress ball, yeah, closing and opening. Yeah? That's why the stress balls are so effective in yeah, creating balance, homeostasis, because really the hands, yeah, this is where we hold the many thousand nerve endings. Yeah? The hands and the feet are so energetically potent. And then by massaging the joints, yeah, especially the, the center, so this directly stimulates your pingala. So the pingala, yeah, the right side is associated with the left hemisphere of the brain. Uh, so you can just do an apply pressure and massage that. All right. So if you feel, for example, um, you there are imbalances in your posture, specifically the elbow and the shoulder, yeah, it could be an issue of the hand because when the hand yeah, is, uh, I say, uh, imbalance when that particular hand and the many joints there affect yeah, everything yeah, on that particular side. So massaging, stretching, closing and opening, shake the hand, flipping, yeah, because that one you know, goes to the center of the wrist, the elbow and the shoulder and crisscrosses to the other hemisphere of the brain, the left side, so massaging, right? And then that applies to on the left. Left side is associated with our mental faculties yeah, and our emotional and creative side. Yeah, for example, if you're an artist yeah, and for some reason inspiration is not happening, it could be energetic cuts, yeah, stagnation you're experiencing on the left. Yeah, you might do it on the left side, yeah, especially if you're mentally stressed, that yeah, that point. Yeah, use the thumb and rub it. But of course, it's wise to do both sides. Yeah, um, but give more emphasis on your heavy side. Okay, center of the palm, and then closing, open like that. Yeah, and then flipping hands. All right. Now next, feet. Yeah, this is really important. This really is so good. Yeah. So the sole, the, the center of the right foot. Yeah, this is associated with the pingala nadi, really down the hips. So if you can cross the legs this way, yeah, just cross the hapadmasana, placing your elbow there and massage, yeah, dig in. Right. And then you can even move your body away from the hip by doing a side stretch as you press downwards. Right. And you will feel yeah, the right hip yeah, will open. Yeah, not yeah, physically open, yes, because you're stretching, but there's some deep um, openness you can experience by doing this. Yeah, not only the hip, also the ankle and even the knee. Right. And then the rest of your uh, feet anatomy, right, circle around. Yes, I do this a lot. Yeah, so before I do my uh, deep hip opener, I'm going to find it from the heel. I'm going to press down. Uh, and I will lift the hip while pressing down and then do a side stretch. It feels good, this one, yeah? yeah like you can really access deep down your, your side nadi. Right, and then slide down to the heel, push down you know, from the center to the heel and as you stretch. Well, it feels good here. And then circle around. <laughs> All right. And extend the legs to circle the ankles, point and flex, and then do that on the opposite side too. All right, so imbalances in the hips, physical imbalances. If you do this technique of pressing the elbow, you know, and then stretching like that. 
All right. Now, next, the mouth. All right. <laughs> 